Hi Krebushetters of the world, finally this is the very first uh, project for this year for the Christmas. Uh, I uh, designed the flower and it's a poinsettia flower and from here I just um, go on with the imagination and create all this but this is not only my imagination this is the the yarns that I use the beautiful yarns of uh, the shop online it's not only the shop because they produced actually these yarns here in Italy and they uh, so, uh, sell them worldwide so you can um, actually uh, order them so you can have them at your uh, home and make these beautiful things i'm so happy i found this shop online this this actually yes shop uh, with so beautiful you know how how much i love to create jewelries and uh, these fa uh, fancy things and with their yarns I can just create all that I have in mind. Now, uh, I work these little girl garlands. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Just to uh, put them on the tree, on the Christmas tree. And then with another um, beautiful yarn, I create this one with exactly the same pattern. So you will learn just one pattern and you will work all these beauties. So this is another one and I just adore, look at it. And I don't know in your country, but here in Italy, um, in the period, on, on the period um, before the Christmas, you know, there are all the, those beautiful decorations for Christmas, but they are not cheap at all. Actually, they are expensive if you, expensive if you see um, those that are um, beautiful, that are nice, that are lovely, they are really expensive and all made in China. And uh, now here it is, we can create ours and um, so beautiful, so nice and made by us. And yes, I am so happy I found this uh, shop online. And I also created a pair of earrings. I bought them too, these things for the earrings, on their shop. They are so fancy. Look at it. And here I have one more flower because I want to make a necklace something to go with my earrings and uh, I will make a nice present for um, for a friend of mine. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I let you the link below the tutorial so you can buy this beautiful yarn if you want to make them as I uh, exactly as they are here that you see can see here. So see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye. Now, to work this beautiful, fancy, so fancy, so nice, so lovely um, Christmas decorations, we will need, of course, we need this kind of, um, so exactly these yarns, because they are really special yarns uh, to work with for jewelries, and I invented these nice uh, decorations for Christmas because I think they are just fancy so I don't know uh, where you live but here in Italy uh, for Christmas the Christmas decoration actually in uh, in shops are uh, pretty not cheap <laughs> so really expensive so that kind of decorations that are nice and fancy yes they are really expensive so that's why i created mine uh with uh, with this yarn and they look really really fancy now uh let me tell you what uh, what you need from the shop i will let you the link below of the shop where i buy uh these beautiful yarns so i worked with uh, Blissino, so this one, it's Blissino, it's one of my favorite um, yarn of their jewelry yarns, it's really really wonderful, so this is Blissino, and the other one is Bliss, okay, so Blissino and Bliss, really really beautiful 
uh, two beautiful yarns and you all of course you can transform these in uh, earrings or necklaces or so many beautiful jewelries actually if you don't want to create the garland for Christmas and for this one this is just gorgeous um, for this one I used Darin so the name is Darin and it's actually um, with a uh, inside it has so it's coated it's it's a kind of not it's a kind of it's a metallic yarn not metallic yarn sorry it's um thread not thread oh my gosh sorry it's a wire so the word um uh, it's wire coated with this nice Thing, material I don't know what it is but it looks so beautiful and time ago actually I posted a video uh, where I worked a necklace with this um, kind of yarn it's actually it's wire as I said really nice and now I made this look at it isn't it just gorgeous on my christmas tree i will put some of them okay but now uh, let's see what we need more so we will need some cotton all-purpose cotton so kind of cotton that uh it's nice for a uh, suitable for five millimeters hook if you don't have or a thinner yours uh, then you can put it uh, in two strands and just to obtain um, the, the thickness for five millimeters hook and we will need three millimeters hook too for these two okay now this one will be worked with five millimeters hook too so only these these two measures of hooks we will need um, of course some scissors and some um, this thing to stuff and you'll see why okay but now let's get started with the little ring the garland ring so chain 10 plus 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 plus 1 okay and into the sorry only 10 10 and now just want to close it into a circle into a ring with a slip stitch okay now chain one and work in each work the tail two work in each chain work one single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay perfect and now from the second round will be easy 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 because we just insert hook we will work only back loops just insert hook into the back loop and work around this is the first single crochet so you don't have to uh, slip stitch and you don't have to count anymore and you don't need marker just continue on working each stitch into um, back loop only so as you can see a stitch is formed of two loops this is one this is front loop because it is in front of us and the second which is back loop because it's back actually um, okay and we just continue on working like this uh, to create a kind of tubular tubular thing Cylind cylindrical shape okay so just continue on for some rounds It's like this nothing fancy still till now 
So I worked uh, this uh, part a little bit, let's say. And now I will take some filler and I will stuff. This. And then I will work again and stuff and work and stuff until we need until we need and we until we have the uh, this is it okay and now I will continue oops sorry and now I will continue on with my single crochets all around just like this. So I finished the length that I need for the small one. Of course you can make them as large as you want, as you um, actually the shape as you wish, put them as many as you need, uh, poinsettia, flowers. Okay, now I cut the yarn and now with the needle I will sew the two parts together and how? Must be sure you are like this, and I just want to insert needle into this side and then into this one, like this. Just one, okay, and I will continue on like this rotating so try to not try you have to rotate the well, this is the second here and the second here and just rotate it like this okay now again the next and the next We just continue on like this. The next it's here and the next here. Okay. Continue on like this. Nice and tight. All around of course. We need to go this one is the tail, I want to leave it inside and I will just continue on sewing nice and tight rotate and sew this is the idea rotate and sew until you have a nice So, here we have it, and it's actually here that we will sew our little poinsettia, just like that. We will sew it, but for now I just want to show you how to work it. Of course, <laughs> it's important. And here, on the upper part, I just want to make with the same... Uh, yarn exactly on the other side so it's here somewhere I will just work my chain two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12. Let's see if it's... Yes, it's okay. 14. And now I will be back into the same or into the next where you want and slip stitch. 
and cut the yarn. Make a nice knot here. And now the the old tails that we have, we will just want to put them inside like this. Oh, where it is? Like this. Just take them inside. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now let's get started with the flower. And I will work with the bliss yarn, not bliss, you know, because it's uh, a little bit thicker. So you can see, uh, you can see well what am I working. And I work with three millimeters hook. Uh, this one too, even if it's thinner, it's really nice. I like the texture that it gives. Okay, so chain 17 plus one, which means 18. <laughs> Okay, now insert hook into the very first, very second, into the second chain, only um, front loop, so this one, which is up, and work a slip stitch into the next, work a single crochet, into the next, work a half double crochet, into the next, work a double crochet. Into the next we will work three stitches. Work a long double crochet, yarn over pull through one, yarn over pull through two and pull through two, yarn over twice, work a triple crochet into the same chain. And again a long double crochet into the same chain, so yarn over pull through one first and then pull through two and pull through two. Okay. And now continue on with one double crochet into the next chain, normal double crochet, one half double crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and one slip stitch into the next. And now we will work exactly the same thing one more time. So single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, into the next we work the three stitches together, so one long double crochet, yarn over pull through one and then pull through two and pull through two, yarn over twice, work the triple crochet, work one more stitch, one more long double crochet, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two, and continue with one double crochet into the next, one half double crochet into the next, and one single crochet into the next, and into the last work a slip stitch. Now we will work on the opposite side exactly the same thing that we worked here. So into the slip stitch, let's go on the opposite side, this is the stitch, work a slip stitch. Okay, work the tail too, of course. And now, where you work the single crochet, work a single crochet. Then, half double crochet, double crochet, and into the next, work one long double crochet, one triple crochet. So, another long double crochet, then work a double crochet into the next, 
a half double crochet into the next I'm working the tail over the tail too a single crochet into the next a slip stitch into the next and repeat double crochet half double crochet sorry single crochet half double crochet double crochet the three stitches together so long double crochet triple crochet long double crochet and then finish with again double crochet half double crochet single and slip stitch okay now we just want to cut yarn and with a smaller crochet hook so this is what we have to create the flower we need three of this so work two more and with a smaller crochet hook on the wrong side lose the end like this So, work three more. So now, to work the flowers, these, these beautiful flowers, uh, let's see how. And um, I will work with Bliss, because it's a little bit um, thicker than Bliss, you know. But I worked uh, both with three millimeters hook. I don't know. I like the texture that gives to this uh, yarn uh, Working with uh, a larger hook you can try with two millimeters hook with 2.5. So uh, it's okay Now if you don't like this look now, let's see I have here 18 stitch 18 chains Sorry, and now we will begin to work into the second chain from the hook only um this loop okay so first stitch will be a slip stitch into the next chain single crochet into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain double crochet into the next chain we will work three uh, stitches together will be a long double crochet which means yarn over pull through one and then yarn over pull through two and pull through two then we will work a triple crochet one two three and then again a long double crochet so pull through one pull through two and pull through two into the same chain so we work three, these three together. Then we will continue on with a double crochet into the next chain, a half double crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next chain, and slip stitch into the next chain. Now repeat exactly what you did so far. So single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet, into the next chain double crochet into the next chain and into the next we work the three stitches together which means the long double crochet pull through one pull through two pull through two the triple crochet pull through two pull through two pull through two three times and another long double crochet so pull through one 
pull through two and pull through two and now we will go on with one double crochet into the next chain one half double crochet into the next one single and at the end finally uh, one slip stitch now we will work exactly the same thing on the other side slip stitch and now search for the other part of the first chain which is this one and slip stitch now into the next go on and work your single crochet and work over the tail too of course now into the next work your half double crochet into the next double crochet and we have to work our three together so one long double crochet one triple crochet and one more long double crochet into the same chain and we continue on with one single crochet into the next sorry double crochet into the next one half double crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and one slip stitch into the next and now we go on and we work the same thing over the next stitches so again single crochet half double crochet double crochet three stitches together which is which are <laughs> one long double crochet one triple crochet and one more long double crochet okay and now we go on with one double crochet one half double crochet one single crochet and finally one slip stitch cut yarn and with a smaller hook on the wrong side pull the tail and loose it like this you can also make a knot little knot here like this if you think you want to it's no need but I just want to show you in case you want to be sure now work three of these I already have two so this is how it looks actually I used the hot glue to fix it uh, put it here on the little uh, donut <laughs> and this is how it looks isn't it just just lovely now let me show you how to put them together I will show you on this now so with needle and uh, Yes, like this from I make made a knot needle and yarn of course and now I will put I will put this one and this one and insert hook insert hook yes needle through all like this now of course put them nice and go up and down with some stitches like this and now I'm ready to put the bits go up take three bits and now I'm ready to go down 
like this and then exactly the same with the other um, two groups of three beads to finish it and then I will glue it again on my little donut that I made first here exactly as I did before you can sew it if you want to and these two I will use them as earrings they are so beautiful and this one I will put it on a necklace just want to make a nice uh, coordinate with uh, earrings and necklace so if you want to make earrings you just put in between two so bring um, join the earring thing like uh, through two patterns like this okay like this okay that's it hope you enjoy this is uh, worked with darin yarn but it's exactly the same thing i did here only that when i finished one of the petals i just chained some more stitches just to make and it's the rest is exactly the same and hope you enjoy these are so beautiful from my point of view they are so so beautiful um things for uh, for christmas or uh, to embellish the tree but also to make beautiful jewelries so don't forget to subscribe uh thank you for watching this video and um I will let you the link below where you can buy these beautiful, beautiful yarns if you want to make these flowers or want to make some jewelries, really beautiful crochet jewelries. See you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.